Welcome back to the internet. And, um... I'm gonna do this modern cube draft. Got your buddy Kevin here. And, um... We're gonna... Draft all the things. Was that one of your grandkids? Yeah, 1976 was my grandkids' birthday. Boy, they grow up so fast, don't they? Don't they grow up so fast? Answer me! Answer me! I'm, tr I'm tempted to just take this Obnixilis because I don't really feel like being green again. However, that being said, I always feel like being green. So, okay, two five mana planeswalkers. They both start at five. Plus one draws you a thing. Hmm, okay. Negative three destroys a relevant thing. Okay. Negative eight has a pretty game winning emblem. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Fascinating. Fascinating. That being the case, I'm just gonna take the Obnix list. These are very similar. I mean I think Vivian's I think Vivian's better. Um, but I want to draft black, not green. So that's where I'm at in my life. And then we get like Ashiok and Nighthawk. Ox and Hawks. <laughs> What up, help? It's almost like every five mana planeswalker is essentially the same card. There is a feeling of that. Yes, they all have a very similar. I'm gonna take this Ashiok because. <sighs> Come on, don't be stupid. It's Ashiok. What's going on, Rob? I saw you there. I'm here for the small talk lollygagging. No, you're not. Don't you even? Actually, you might be. That might be true. That sounds accurate. Ugh, change the color and slap a new name on it. Just make it a different thing. It's fine. No one will notice. I want to take Silumgar here. This is actually nice considering we're both blue and... Oh, also, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. Plus, or another five... Okay, five mana Planeswalker. Five mana Planeswalker. Five loyalty. Five loyalty. Plus one draws you a card. Plus one draws you a card. Minus three... Deals with a permanent creature. Minus three deals with a creature. Negative eight game winning ultimate. Negative eight game winning ultimate. Huh. Okay. Well. Boy. That's a thing. To Chuck, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Sire Monday for me. Free money for free. Thank you, Supreme Overland Amazon. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. So, so far we've seen three of this, this Planeswalker, which is fascinating to me. I think we're just taking Vraska's Contempt. Although I do like an Orzov Signet a good deal. Hi, Frank. Sorry from New York City. It's kind of my attention that I've been known to sometimes come on a little strong in the chat. I took some time to meditate on this revelation last night, and I've come to the conclusion that I would like to come on a little softer. As part of the lifestyle, interesting whisper streams. <laughs> we're in chat and let you know for gentle, contemplative feelings. I look forward to this new chapter. Same. Me too, buddy. Me too. That sounds nice. Um, <laughs> did you did you see the video where someone was like honesty stream uh how do you feel about someone i think it was actually like willie or lafo for somebody who's like tell us how you feel about elk tears and i was like god i love elk tears to death man that dude has his heart in all the right places but he comes on a little strong sometimes so that was pretty hilarious um i guess i'm gonna take Vraska's contempt oh Silmgar's command all right okay See, this is a five mana planeswalker that does not really follow the rules. I'm familiar. Was that a clip? I didn't even know that was a clip. The two instances that stand out for me are one was when you were when you were heckling Rob, and I was like, God, man, Rob's like, like the nicest dude ever, and you're like just constantly barraging him with with uh, with hard times. And then the second time was when, like, Mike was feeling terrible, and I was, like, exhausted, and I just wanted to get some food, and you're like, keep streaming, and I was like, oh my god, dude, just take it easy. Those are the only two times that I can think of where I was like, Elk Tears, you're coming on a little strong, buddy. I like the Silmgar's Command. I don't know if it's better than uh, Vizier, but Vizier actually might come back. Also, Ultimate Price is great. I would love to take Obliterator, but... I don't like our odds of hitting it on an irreasonable amount of time. 
Plow under? Really? Why is this so late? Does no one understand what this card does? <sighs> this is a weird card, too, because I have no idea how many like zombies are in this format. I don't feel like there's that many. I think we've seen Graveyard Master so far. Oh, the package getting sent back is super weird, man. God, customs are so weird. I'm going to take the plow under just because I think it's strong enough that like if we end up leaning towards a different combination here. Oh, this guy's a zombie. Oh, I definitely remember the heartfelt apology. I told you I was I was thankful for it. It meant a lot. I really appreciated that. I, I'm gonna take the three drop. This guy's this guy's big. Eh, bird wizard's okay. Be whiz, whiz, if you will. Nighthawk comes back. Guess that's fine. Unburial rights. Do I care about this? I don't know. Um, it's double green. It's not ideal. But maybe. Hey, Graveyard Marshal. Man, if only the Liliana's Mastery comes back too, that'd be great. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well. I mean, with Ahmed Eternal and Graveyard Marshal, not the worst. Makes two three threes. Bit of awesome fixing land, Ugin. Probably bitter blossom. I do like fixing land, but I think I like bitter blossom more. It doesn't make zombies. If it made zombie fairies, that'd be better. Ugin's also nice, but 8 mana is a little bit high. I bet the Dark Slick Shores comes back. It's not a super high priority land. Our blue splash is also very light so far. Four cards. One of which I'm not even super sold on. I mean, now I wish we did take the Phyrexian Obliterator because our blue splash is kind of light, but I think Bribery is just probably better. It's not as good in the um, the modern cube, obviously, but... Oh, Cryptic Command. All right, now we're just heavier blue, I guess. Also Sower, but I'm going to take the Cryptic Command.
Drowned Catacomb is probably better than Tamio here, especially because we have no fixing. So I'm going to take the Drowned Catacomb. Uh, ideally, we'll be continuing Freshly Brewed going forward. Uh, we've taken a lot of breaks, <laughs> and I'd like to try to avoid that this time. This time. Um... I'm not sold on these yet. Also, definitely not taking a Dark Confidant in this deck. It might just be Champion of Wits. It gives us a lot of play. Eldest Reborn's also pretty good. Lamb Chop, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. What is said in the intro of Freshly Brewed? It's very mumbly. What does that mean? Mumbly? It's one of these two. I'm not sure which, though. Oh, Creeping Tar Pit. Probably better than Jace for the same reason, I think. I like these Planeswalkers, but... There's so many five drops in this format. Like, I really want this, but then, like... I mean, I, I could have taken the Kalidus, but I think Time Warp's just better when we have multiple Planeswalkers. And an Eldest Reborn. I don't know. Magic's hard. And the intro song, there's a, it's that's the point. It's supposed to be muffled. Ollie says freshly brewed. Freshly brewed. Like he says the name of the podcast. Take the murderous cut. Yeah, it's from an episode. There was an episode where I was like, Freshly Brewed! And he would, he was singing it. And then uh, this guy Casey actually made a intro song for us out of it. Yeah, I like Stratus Dancer better than Phyrexian Revoker here, so I'll take that. Actually, Mana Confluence is pretty okay. Tamio comes back anyway. So Mono 5 drops the dream is, is live. Uh, I'll take a Grimmy boy. Dread, dready boy. Delvey boy. Buggy boy. Right, the five drop slots just like I want to play all of these as well. There's not they're not like none of them are actually that bad. Murderous cut also a five drop. <coughs> a lot of the time. Dream Eater, I don't care about. I do like an ancestral vision here. That's probably the pick, right? Hex Mage will probably table. I don't care about Dream Eater. Apex Predator, I don't really feel like splashing for off of a Mana Confluence, but Vision is actually pretty good. Brian, what's going on, buddy? Happy uh, Thanksgiving. Happy belated Thanksgiving. Guy that plays bass, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Nicol Bolas God Pharaoh. 
I like that better than Thassa. Also, Ruinous Path could be good. I also like it better than Soren. Like, both of these are splashable off of a, a mana. Like, Wandering Fumeral could come back, so could Reflecting Pool, but Reflecting Pool is not going to help us cast this because we'd already have to have a red. We already have Vraska's Contempt. I don't think we need Ruinous Path. We already have Disfigure, Ultimate Price. We have a lot of removal. I'm going to take the Nickel Bolus. And then we can just find some red lands like this guy. Blink of an Eye is nice. Bells and Lock is also... I think also Bells and Lock is fine. Could take a Lava Claw Reaches. It does help with the fixing that we were just mentioning. Do we need any more high power guys? Probably not. But Lava Claw reaches. I bet Lava Claw comes back, whereas Bells and Lock does not. Doom Blade. It's another two drop that we are desperately seeking. Same with same with Riftwing Cloudscape. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Doom Blade here. Doom Whisper. We can just take that other five drop. That's a good one. I like Languish here. Actually, we don't have a ton of early guys, and Languish helps keep us in the game for these five drops. Same thing with Gifted Aetherborn, actually. Yeah. I like having Aetherborn and Nighthawk, which is pretty nice. So it's a 5-5 five, five for, for 3. When they cast the spell, you put a counter on it. So by the time you attack with it for the first time, it's going to be like a 4-4. Four, four. So they either chump or remove all the counters and take 5. And if they chump, they take 3. I think this card's actually pretty good. Pack Rats seems pretty good as well. I like Murderous Redcap. But I think Packrat's just a stronger card. I'm probably not playing Tamio here. We could also play Dreadbore if we splash the red, but I don't think I want to have red on you know that early in the game. Also, I'm not a big Stratus Dancer fan. This deck does need more plow. Here we go. Oh, Misty Rainforest is nice. Not really, though. We have nothing to get with it except for an island. So I retract my statement. Thank you. JTH, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Only streamer I ever subbed to. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Ah, Venser's good. We also have Cryptic Command. It's a lot of a lot of blue requirements here. Probably definitely playing the Mana Confluence, especially with Nicol Bolas. And we are banking on that Lava Claw reaches to table because no one cares about it. <coughs> Coligon's command. If the reaches tables... I'll definitely play this over something like Nimble Obstructionist. Fingers crossed. What if Albarn? Soren. Proper Polygon. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to take Masquerum. I like Manic Vandal, but we already have Coligon's Command, which is a similar effect if we want to destroy an artifact. And Masquerum just wins games. You know, depending on the game, I guess. Nailed it. Wasn't there another land? We wanted, oh, we wanted Wandering Fumeral to come back, but it did not. I think this is still fine. Two red sources. We can add a mountain. 
have three red sources for two red cards. And then we have four uh, blue-black dual lands. Eh, this is actually a playable card. Fits on the curve nicely. <coughs> so, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, perfect. This is perfect. Yep, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I like ten, ten actually. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, because we have cryptic command and Vencer and time warp and bribery. So I think this is actually okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. You have to consider in most normal drafts your lands are going to be nine eight without many dual lands. So having ten ten, you're already uh well above the color requirements for a normal draft. So being able to hit double black or double blue shouldn't be a problem, but, you know. Famous last words. I will play first. Oh. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> We're going to bank on this we're going to be a swamp on top, which we'll probably keep for this language, but. Uh, you can go to the bottom. Oh, they went to five? Well, it makes me feel a little better then. Huh. Aggressive. Oh, that was a good hit because that turns on both Languish and Cryptic Command. That's great. That's a good one. Well, that's unfortunate. Kind of. I'm going to put this over here because I assume that's what they're taking because why wouldn't you? to the surprise of no one. Welp. <clears throat> Languish into Silumgar's command. Do just attack here? That feels bad, right? Feels Batman. Oh, Rainy Mood is great. I was actually tempted to open Rainy Mood when I was streaming. Let me see. If, I'm going to do it right now, and I'll see if you guys like that. I actually think it's great. I'm going to put it on right now, and you guys can see if it's something you're interested in. They can't kill this with ultimate price. They can't kill it with Doomblade, right? Let me know if this is too loud or too low. Whatever, we're risking it. They have to have, like, disfigure. Alright, we got in free, free damage. All right, it's pretty low right now. Let me know if that affects things. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, they have one land. We're just going to play Bitter Blossom here. Or two land, rather. I'm not, like, super afraid of what they might be able to play with three, unless it's a Drolf's Messenger, in which case we're taking two, three, four, five. We go to nine doesn't look like that's happening now. 
It made me pee immediately. <laughs> wow. Well, at least we can hold off the attacks and keep Solomgar's command up, so that's pretty good. This is rainy mood. Man, look at you. We can also return this to our hand if it gets too brutal, which is nice. One. Definitely not interested in uh, taking down Solmgar's command and not blocking. <laughs> yeah, well, it made me pee immediately. It's pretty funny. I'm peeing right now. He said awkwardly. I mean, real talk, if they play Phyrexian Obliterator here, it's going to be pretty brutal. <coughs> um, counter target non-creature spell. Did they play a land this turn? This is fine, because we can actually just bounce the land. One, two, three, activate. So next turn we can activate and also uh, Slumgar's command, which is nice. So one, two, three, activate, and then we'll have one, two, three, four, five thousand mana. Axel, what's going on, buddy? I'm actually not in the mood to cast that dude because he's pretty aggressive. One, two, three. It is. It's kind of like a plow. Yeah, it's basically the blue-black plow. Oh, you're going to pay costs here. Yeah, that, that we're going to counter and return your land. That's pretty brutal, I think. But what do I know? Oh, uh, we got the rainy mood on. This is, this rain is simulated, just so you guys know. No actual rain was harmed in the making of this stream. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'll discard a languish. Are, are they dead here? I'm pretty sure they're dead. They take at least three, four, five, six, and we can... Yeah, they're dead. Short of them having dismember, I think they're dead. One, two, three. Activate you. One, two, three. Activate you. So this is what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, all right. <coughs> That'll do. That'll do. Should Packrat just be in the main deck? Does Packrat just win enough games that it should be in here? I don't know. I think our deck is good, though. Since the universe is simulation, isn't the actual rain simulated? It's a good question. I believe the answer is yes, but you might need a scientist. Shut up and take my money. 22 franc rent bucks. Oh, that'll do. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Proper Polygon. Thank you so much, dude. You are the best. And now I get the luxury. It's that time again. Of updating it. Proper Polygon, you are awesome, dude. Thank you so much, man. I get to live in my house for one more month. Ideally longer than that, but guaranteed one more. <laughs> zero. I'm gonna put zero point two four because that was our over. That was our over amount. Twelve slash thirty one slash two thousand eighteen. Nailed it. <clears throat> Is there a rent quote? Should there be a rent quote? Josh, thank you so much for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. It was an awesome. Uh, 
It was an awesome moment. This is a long sideboarding session. I'm waiting for UPS to drop off and pick up a package, so I may have to, uh... I might have to leave momentarily. Not momentarily, but... Momentarily is in for a moment, uh, not necessarily soon. Oh, I want to see what the best Rainy Mood song is. Hold on. I'm really curious. Alright, I'm going to leave this up. I'm going to listen to this Ben Harper song later. I've never been a huge Ben Harper fan, but I've always liked Ben Harper's stuff. Does that make sense? Like, he's not an artist I seek out, but whenever I'm like, who is this? This is really good. Oh, it's Ben Harper. Interesting. So that's that's where I stand on that. Man, grave crawler every game. I hope I don't start crying when I listen to it. I don't know if I can handle something super emotional, buddy. <coughs> Praetos from the Praetos Praetors. Uh Aleshorn and Shouldered are have yeah, there's both both of them have been here. You can also check. You can also just double check online. Um, the the cube lists are usually online, and uh, yeah, we definitely we had Eleshnorn, and I passed the shielder this time. So you're just this is fake news. Hmm. All right. Well, get rid of an island here. Pretty no-brainer. Oh, wow. Can we time that perfectly so that... Oh, we got a Gaunti. The Draft Lord himself. Discard, play a land. Discard, play a land. So we're going to get rid of Swamp this time. Okay, Ruinous Path seems good. <clears throat> God, I really want to just steal this Liliana when she, right before she ultimates. I think we're going to be too slow, though. Actually, we can attack with Tar Pit this turn. And we can just play Nighthawk, and they'll probably just kill the Nighthawk. They have one card in hand. So dealing with this Liliana seems like it's really where we want to be. <clears throat> so we put Liliana, then we make they make us discard like murderous cut here. And then we can attack Liliana again. That actually seems fine. That seems less risky than than just trying to steal Liliana in two turns. Cause especially because we don't have another land. Oh, did we actually... We already played a land this turn, didn't we? Yeah, so this is only turn four. That's even that's even better reason to do it. Murderous boop. Well, that's actually fine. But we do have to find a way to... Actually, let's get rid of the Nighthawk. We're probably going to activate Kill Liliana and then Murderous Cut the Gravecrawler when they go to equip it. That's a thing we can do, right? We'll have one mana and then four cards in the graveyard. Yeah. Our ultimate price, I guess, is also an option. No, it's not. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is actually pretty good for us. They have no cards in hand. I really don't want them getting back their Grave Titan, so. And we still get to keep Solengar in hand and Ultimate Price. Yep. That's pretty good. And they also have no other zombies. So, everybody wins. Don't be a land. Oh, and I'm at Eternal seems great here. Well, that's just 5-5. Five, five. Erebos is cool, but it's not a zombie, nor does it... Actually, 1, 2, 3... Alright. Deck list? This is modern. This is modern cube. <laughs> so. Badger, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. They just draw a card. Is that what happened? Seems good. Oh, they did. Did they draw another card? Oh boy. So we have eight damage on board. Yikes. So they go to one here. Fascinating. Do we take one and just play Aetherborn here? No, I guess we can keep up ultimate price. I can't imagine they have a way to deal with both Emmet Eternal and Creeping Tar Pit. <clears throat> Noxious Gear Hulk. So now they gain no life, and then we get to just kill them with Creeping Tarpet. So that's how we do it. Frank's voice plus rainy mood equals inner peace. Well, I do what I can. Uh, mono black could be good. I just don't know if their mono black was that good. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's slow, but we have all the mana and the lands that we can do our things with. So, that was a great draw. <clears throat> I think bribery is definitely better in. Uh, more powered cubes like vintage cube or legacy cube but it's still bribery i'm also not i don't think this is actually good in modern itself because then like there's so many decks where you're just like if you play like affinity or humans or mono red you're just not getting a very good card whereas most decks in the cube have high ends i was watching your youtube videos and got the notification might as well watch it now and ruin the upcoming video for me later that's a good point but you don't ruin it now so that's good it also looks like it's going to rain, and it says it's going to rain around 6, which is kind of nice. You're going to kill this guy? The ultimate price? Collective Brutality. Did you just choose both modes? Interesting. I definitely don't know it was worth dealing me too to, to discard a Vampire Nighthawk, but, or a Vampire Hexmage, especially because I have Planeswalkers, but... Yeah, if you can run Bribery and get like a Inferno Titan or a Primeval Titan. <clears throat> that's pretty good. Uh, Midnight Reaper, huh? I will trade here. I think this is totally fine.
if you want to draw one for one. Oh, the Eldrazi Titans, when they used to play Old Ulamog and Emrakul. Yeah, that makes sense, too. Whenever someone says Titans, I'll literally just assume actual Titans. Again, there's very few spells that kill this guy. Like, you really have to have basically Disfigure. Don't have Disfigure. Oh, man. Oh, Dismember works too, sure. That's pretty bad now, because we can't play Bells and Lock next turn. That might have been greedy, but they had to add, like, one of two cards, so. Oh, that was actually great. <laughs> that should buy us some time, then. The rich get richer. Yeah, definitely not. Counter and draw a card. Be a land. Be a land now. Two whiffs on lands. Although, <clears throat> our removal suite's looking pretty favorable. Um, It's actually pretty good. We can't really do anything about it, though. I would love to play a Kolagon's Command and just destroy it, but... I'm actually just going to time warp here. I don't want them to give him another turn. I'd rather just try to play Bells and Lock here. And we don't get to, but being able to Ashiok is also very good. So, God, they get to whip back Gonti. That's sad. We hit a Ravenous Chupacabra, and an Ultimate Price, and a Liliana of the Veil. I'm not actually a huge Liliana of the Veil fan, but it is an obnoxious Planeswalker. Oh, Hexmage, that's right, that's a thing in your graveyard. That is sad. Maybe they forget. They'll never forget. Hashtag never forget. Give me a red mana. Give me a mana confluence. Okay, well, I'll take a bit of blossom, I guess. A red mana or a fifth, a sixth land at any point in time would have been very, very helpful to get this Whip of Erebos offline or to get Demon Bells and Lock online, but uh, not ideal. If you could only put on Liliana, in a th if you only put one Liliana in a 360 key, which would you put in? Uh, Liliana of the Last Hope. Mm. All right, so still no, still no land or red. The run out of creatures though, which is nice. I don't like Flip Liliana. I always want to like Flip Liliana, and then like she never really does anything. She never really lives up to expectations, unfortunately. Wouldn't have casted Inquisition if I was. Yep, that's a good card. That is a good card. While I'm feeling generous. Badger, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Happy belated Thanksgiving for everybody. I don't even want to... Oh, give me a red so I can go ultimate price this guy and Kolagon's command. Ugh, I'm scared of this guy coming back. Is this even the right play? I'm pretty sure we ultimate price this, and then we let them... If we go neg three, they just make the dude next turn. They have three attackers. One, two, and then this guy. That's most of their mana. We have three blockers. 
So I think that's actually okay. Ob goes to two. Badger, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. No Thanksgiving for you? That sounds ominous and sad. I don't want that to be the case. Like, I don't like that they're going to get Grave Titan back, but we can also we can always languish all the guys, and this does commit four of their six mana. So. Which means we should be able to block all of the things. I think your line is also fine, Rob. Oh, our Badger, you're in Australia. That's a good point. That That's, uh... Solid point. Apparently you guys uh, don't uh, have that holiday there because obvious reasons. Austria. Huh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Just let me know if I need to ban Rob here. We're not thankful for anything. Fantastic. I'm a fan. Thank you. Chad Bradbury, six, 56 months in a row. That is not a reasonable amount of time. Is that 12, 24, 36, 48? That's almost five months. What just happened? Silumgar's Command. Oh, that was the card they got. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, and they killed up. So... We're just going to save life here because we do have Languish, so... Land here would be nice. Did I say five months? I meant five years. That's what I meant. That's a lot of time, dude. You are the best. A lot of bests in the chat right now. Thank you guys so much. Alright. Finally. Yeah, that Selimgar's command was pretty, pretty silly. Wow. Well, that was a hell of a draw. I'm probably going to discard the Kolagons command, unfortunately. I don't think so, actually. That's just a good answer. Oh, you're just going to have, like, murderous cut. Pretty sure we're dead here. Block the Grave Titan. We take eight. Yeah, this game is not... Like, it took us way too long to get our sixth land. We were on, what, turn 13 we hit our sixth land. That's pretty reasonable. Um... We're going to have to take out the Doom Blade as well. Fatal Push, and yep, that'll be it. Yeah, if we didn't attack with Creeping Tarp at that turn, I think this game would be completely different. Like, to be fair, I'll still defend. I, mean, I, guess, I guess Fatal Push is also an option that's in this cube, which I may not have noticed. I'm going to bring in Massacre Worm, uh, for obvious reasons. I'm going to take out... Well, they do have. They do have the big boy. Let's take out the Doom Blade. I think this is actually fine. What's up, Morgan? Always a pleasure, buddy. This is also uh, this is Rainy Mood. Uh, dot com, not actual rain for those just joining us. Oh, mascara worm. You know what? I'll keep this hand. It's not great. But their Inquisition of Kozilek is dead, so that's good. We got that going for us. <laughs> Record the audio from the stream and make an ambient noise album. Sometimes you guys say things like that, and I'm like, it's not actually the worst idea ever.
All right, well, now we have our black mana as well. Or our red mana, rather. I'll get the right color. We'll, we'll do it. Pack rat, huh? Well, that's going to be game, boys. Guess we do have a language. So they're going to make a pack rat, then make another pack rat. We're going to get hit for nine. We're going to hopefully draw. We're going to go time warp and try to hit languish. So we have two two hits to get a languish. Oh, that's nice because you can actually make the rat. Why don't you make the rat type in there? I guess in case I languish. Unexciting uh, time warp there, but has to be done, <laughs> unfortunately. Wow. Jeez. These hits have been nuts. This is where they just kill Demon Lord Bells and Lock and then make another rat. Or do the rat first and then kill Demon Lord. Oh my god. Demon Lord Bells and Lock is actually doing us dirty. I think we're dead, right? We block here and then we take 4, 8, 12. Yeah, we're actually just dead. Because we drew four cards. Unbelievable. I mean, maybe they don't make another rat. Yeah. I guess we just lost this match due to Demon Lord Bells and Lock and attacking with Creeping Tar Pit. That's not even necessary. Actually, that's... Wait. That was worse. Wait. Oh, we would have taken eight. You're right. They don't have haste. My bad. Six, seven. Oh, we're definitely languishing here. Not dead, and we have a Raska's Contempt, so if they can't deal us one point, we get to be the comeback kid here. One damage. Shout out Wario, thanks so much for the 450. Greetings from Denmark, I want to thank you for the endless hours of entertainment I have enjoyed from both your stream and your YouTube. Thank you so much for saying so, really appreciate it. Anytime, my good man, anytime. God, I really want to cast this, but uh, we got Mana Confluence, so. <laughs> from bus to cringe. Oh man, what a game, what a game. Well, we can attack with Tar Pit here and still keep up Contempt. Wow, they had Grey Merchant. That's pretty crazy. If they play a thing, we can Contempt it and then Nicol Bolas, which is really what we want to do, but... It doesn't gain us any life, though, unfortunately. Alright. Well, that's terrifying. But I guess... No, they're going to whip back Gary. And, oh, then we still die. No, we actually break even there. Fascinatingly enough. All right, we're going to break even because we're going to exile the Grey Merchant. We're going to gain two. And then they're gonna we're going to take two from the Whip of Erebus. Oh, boy. Take the whip? We cannot. It only takes creatures or planeswalkers. Unfortunately. Uh, artifact was interesting. I don't... I don't hate it. By any means. But I think there's a lot going on and it's kind of weird. Alright. 
Alright, that's not bad. Oh, uh, we could have attacked with Pit, but... I don't, like, I mean... I don't know, I'm playing pretty conservatively here. Like, right now we can still attack with Pit again. Does this work? I don't know how that works. I think we're really close to dead here. Oh, it's when a non-token creature dies. Yes, okay, that is relevant then. That is relevant. Still at one, though. It's funny, if we drew one fewer cards off Demon Lord Bells and Lock, it would be a pretty different game. And if they have removal spell for a Grey Merchant so that we don't gain the life, it kind of puts us in a bad position. Yep, we go to three, we still take two from Whip. Back down to one. Okie dokie. Come on. Oh, man. Both of these are so good right now with these things on the board. We can also get back something. I'm just going to play this here. You know what? Sure. What does that do? Does that do anything? Yep, that'll do. Because now they can get back Pack Rat and just kill us. And even if we activated uh, Creeping Tar Pit to block, they could still... Oh, Nighthawk would have been nice. Wow. Yep, that was something. I guess Mono Black is pretty strong in this cube. Wow, what a roller coaster. Yeah, I took my fate into my own hands there. Yep, that's not going to do it. Nick, good games. Good games. You dirty cheater. No, just kidding. Demon Lord Bells and Lock did us pretty dirty both games. Prism 100, I'm so sorry, buddy. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. You said, I saw you say, um, thanks for all the YouTube content I enjoy almost daily. And I was like, oh, I appreciate that. It's awesome, awesome, awesome that you subscribe as well. So then you can, like, you're really, you know, showing the appreciation. But I didn't realize you just subscribed. But thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That was not intentional. I definitely did notice you were a subscriber. I just didn't notice it pop, as it were. Yeah, definitely not intentional. That game was pretty, uh, pretty, pretty tense. Ooh, I like it. 
Oh, they missed. A, did they miss a land drop? No, we're just uh, we just played first. I always think I always looks like people miss land drops when they play two to the same basic. I'm like, oh, you must have you must have missed a land drop if you only have the islands in play. Oh, two swamps, huh? Missed a land drop, I guess. No oh, man, it's turn two. Oh, that's a good point. Well, that guy's surprisingly obnoxious. I mean, it's strictly worse than... Not strictly, I'm not going to say that. It's worse than, like, Thief of Sanity. And, uh... Gaunti, I would say. Demon Lord, Bells and Lock. At least we get to see what they found, right? That's pretty good. Oh, look, they have four mana up. What could possibly go wrong? Thankfully, though, they can't cast it if this guy leaves the game, and they also can't cast it without black mana. So... What's up, Jellyfield Donut? Well, I don't... I don't really unmod people, so. I'm gonna actually kill this guy on your turn. Are you gonna draw a bunch of cards this turn? Yes, you are. Harbinger of Tides. Hmm. Well, I guess that'll do. Choose target permit to return to the hand. This kill this actually I'm not doing that we're just going to actually try to counter the this and kill this guy yeah that's better your lightings are still on fire what are the lightings like at your house your house lighting you should get an electrician uh Certified electrician to check that out. Counter target spell. I mean, I presume you have a counter spell for this, but this should let bribery resolve. Oh, wow. I just got to counter Ancestral Vision and Night Veil Spectre, so you clearly don't have a counter spell, or else you would have definitely countered that, right? <coughs> All right. That's fine. All right, let's see what you got. Show me what you've got. Tempest Gin or uh, Frost Titan, rather. Torrential Gear Hulk with a Silumgar's command in the graveyard. Sower of Temptation, Thassa. Your right, deck actually looks pretty sweet. They do have the Cryptic command. They also have Mana Lake, Pact of Negation, and Sinister Sabotage, and Spell Pierce. So lots of goodies. <laughs> and I'm an idiot. <laughs> I think it's actually just Torrential Gear Hulk. We get that, we bounce this guy, and then kill this guy. That seems insane. Choose return to hand. This guy. Neg three, neg three. This guy. Yeah, there's like Spell Pierce, Sinister Sabotage, Pact, Mana Leak, and Cryptic Command. Uh, if they Pact of Negationed it, the odds of them drawing a land would have been very, very high, so they would have had five mana. But we definitely had to dodge five counter spells there. That we know of. Which I imagine are the only ones because they didn't have any in hand. This would be weird if you didn't just replay Tempest Gin here. Huh. Let's attack, I guess. I 
feel like you're going to bounce this with your cryptic command. And then we just gave you a torrential gear hulk, which is pretty sad to think about. Did you just drop Venser? God, that's the one bad thing about bribery. Torrential Gear Hulk online. Let's attack first to see if they want to. They don't actually have anything they can get with the Torrential Gear Hulk, though. Which is pretty nice. Imagine if Bribery could unban Stoneforge Mystic. Hashtag imagine if Bribery. Yes. I want to get this guy out of the way because we have Amid Eternal, so. I don't want them to be able to block it. They're also missing a sixth land as of this moment. As of this moment. Tempest Gin. We knew you had that, so you obviously didn't hit a land. So if they block here, but if they have any spell, we lose a counter, and then it's 3-3. Three, three. Well, all these Death Touch lifelinkers are pretty good, especially when they're a 9. If you want to trade here and take 3, it's pretty okay with me. The only cards you could cast in your deck are Cyclonic Rift. that we saw. Did you draw it? Oh, of course you did. <sighs> Never fails. Well, now they have Cyclonic Rift for their Torrential Gear Hulk. Two more turns, and then we get a, a windfall. One, two, three, four, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. I will actually attack both of these guys. If you want to block either with your... Wow, that is actually a comically timed MTG bot notification there. Barbie does provide comfortable micromodal undergarments. That is why Frank tells us about them all the time. MTG bot with the me undies. That is... That's pretty insane. All right, so one down, we go to 26, and they go to four. Did you just gear Hulk Cyclonic Rift? No, you didn't do anything? That seems greedy. You're at four. Just bounce my guy and get some tempo on the board. Dungeon Geists, okay, didn't see that guy. So Mana Leak is a card you have? I can easily pay three. I can also play around Spell Pierce. You can't Sinister Sabotage. Okay, I'll pay for the Mana Leak. Oh, wow. I guess not. And, of course, it's a land. Wow. Wow. I guess they, I guess they tap out this turn. So... 
We could always draw Nicol Bolas. Can you even attack here? If we draw a second red, you're just dead to Lava Claw Reaches. That seems greedy. Come on, Magic. cringing so hard right now. I hope you guys can hear it through the monitor. They have six cards in here. We know one is a Torrential Gear Hulk. Disfigure, why? I mean, Disfigure is good against Sower of Temptation, Master of Waves, Lutero Core, and Stratus Dancer, which are in their deck, so it's not actually the worst card. I mean, this is just going to get countered, so we might as well play it now. They just play Gear Hulk, Target Trench, or Pact of Negation. Uh, okay. Do they have Mana Leak and Spell Pierce in hand? Because that would be funny. I don't know what's going on right now. Sure. I mean, that was actually fine. I have no idea why they're saving this Torrential Gear Hulk. My eyes are rolling out of my skull right now. I guess they're tapped out, though. Oh, they're at. Oh, they die. I thought this was the other one that it can only deal to creatures. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was only creature or planeswalker. I was thinking it was the flip nickel bolus. Because there's so many nickel boluses now. Yeah, that was a pretty good hit. Everyone's like, why isn't he just killing his opponent? Well, you see. Sometimes magic is a confusing game. I'm going to bring in the Stratus Dancer, actually. Take out Disfigure. Also, I think Rob forgot too, because he said that's getting exiled. Remember that? And I'm like, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to get exiled. But uh, it did not get exiled. Nimble Obstructionist, what do you do? You're actually probably better than some other cards, I bet. I did get lucky that card had more than seven, because as soon as they had more than seven, I was like, well, maybe I don't want to do that after all. And then maybe reconsider things. I think I just would have windmill slammed a seven and killed Karn. What does Languish hit? Pretty much everything, right? It hits Regent, Looter, Master, Sower, Stratus Dancer. It doesn't hit Torrential Gear Hulk. It also hits Dungeon Geists. It's actually probably pretty good. I can I can I can see doing forty one here. I could also see adding a Dread Boar for something. Well, because I'm thinking of Nicobolus, the other Nicobolus, you know what I mean? Ravager. Which, on the flip side, says... Deals 10 damage to target creature or planeswalker. That's it's actually what I was thinking there. I actually think Kolagon's Command could have came out for um, something. I forgot what it was. 
Am I Eternal seems reasonable against them. You know, the more recent Nicol Bolas. Well, this is nice. We just get to slam an Ammon Eternal, which I'm okay with. We played an island there because if we draw another island, I want to be able to play uh, Cryptic Command. But we're, we have to draw both island and Cryptic Command, so it's not like we don't have time. <sighs> Alright, 4-4. Four, four. But then we attack you for 4 and take that counter off, <laughs> presumably. I can also choose Bouncing... The Thassa, which seems pretty strong. And next turn we get to play Stratus Dancer face down. I actually like this a lot. Because we have Murderous Cut to kill things if they have like a card in their hand. That is fine. I don't know what's happening right now. Rocks, paper, scissors! Thanks for the content. Keep some good spirits. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Wait, oh, it costs two more to cast it. I'm like, wait, what's going on here? One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. We'll play Stratus Dancer face down. I actually forgot about that. I forgot about all these obscure cards. I'm just like, I can just kill this, right? What, what problem is? Uh, I don't actually let the lizards out in the rain. They just sort of exist in the rain. Um, yep. That's a good card. Alright. Emmet Eternal's dying slowly. Oh, this is aggressive. Huh. Oh, that's a good card, too. Oh, this rain is kicking in. Guys, it's getting a little... It's getting a little rainy here, boys. Make my Icefall Regent unblockable. Uh, let's play. Let you come down. I'm going to cycle Nimble Obstructionist. Cycling. One, two, three. Draw a card. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit a land, we can play Nicol Bolas. If we don't, we can grab Solomgario. That is a good one. I really want them to tap out, but I don't foresee it happening. 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. That is a lot of damage. Oh, wow. Huh. 
Well, they did tap out, so I think we're. I think we win right now. No, wait, hold on. This deals seven, not ten. Dang, this would deal three. God, we're very close to winning here, but. I mean, if they have Pact of Negation, we're likely dead anyway. We really need Languish here, but I think we're dead. Uh, we can Murderous Cut this guy, or we can just steal it. But then they just make things unblockable, right? Yeah, I think we're dead this game. Alright, that is unfortunate. Steel Master, they still, can, they, they still have Thassa, so they just make Thassa and, like, Icefall Regent unblockable. Oh, wow. Massacre actually seems insane if they're going to tap out for like an L, like a ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -da, that guy. and lock out instead. Oh, ah, Kolagon's command. Dang it. I keep meaning to take out the Kolagon's command. I'll keep this hand. This deck seemed great, but I think we're slowly losing it. Uh, we had one creature in our graveyard, and we had seven lands, I believe. Even if we had eight lands, we still... Dragon Lord costs six, so unless we have three cards in our graveyard... Assuming we have two lands, which I don't think we did, uh, and we didn't have three lands in our graveyard, there's no way we're going to be able to cast Murderous Cut and Dragon Lord Solemnar on the same turn. I think I might just run a Nimble Obstructionist out here, EOT. Being able to untap with Cryptic Command and like have a floaty boy on the board is pretty strong. And if they counter it, we just get to do other things. Survives. Oh, being able to play these is so much better than... I'm going to risk it. I like having Cryptic Command up. We could also hit another land. What are the odds this nimble obstructionist goes the distance? 100%? Um, yeah, let's do this so we can hit a land and play. And if they have spell pierce, it sucks. And they, of course they do. Never don't have it. Oh, that is unfortunate. I'm just gonna stay back to block this guy. And five mana, five cards. Seems good. I think we're just going to take Silumgar's command up. Uh, EOT will Silumgar's command. And then we can try to bribery. to the hand, kill this guy. That is our plan. Oh, 
cringy. Well, they didn't draw a card off Cryptic Command, which is nice. Seems good. I'm just gonna run this out there. Like, if they have counters, it's fine. I'm not gonna like. Oh, they got turn to Gear Hulk. Seems good. Brickbeard, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, buddy. The monocolor decks are always very, very good in the modern cube, it seems. Oh, that's a good one. Would not have minded that myself. Thassa becomes a 1 1. Social version. Okay, actually, this feels decent. Was nice. Uh, it is not raining over here. This is a site called rainymood.com to enhance the mood. They could have made this unblockable, uh, but I think that's a misplay. I think they're probably a little tilted after the kill torrential gear hulk attack, make a 5-5. I would be, unless they're just going to play Karn here and exile our... This is actually pretty okay. We know they have mana leak. I'm going to play around the mana leak by playing this on my turn. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, activate, deal f seven. I think I like having Stratus Dancer down better. Because the only thing they can cast here will do a thing. Actually, I think we're doing okay here. Is it coming off yet? No. I like that when this does come off, we can actually... Uh, no, we can't. We use the Nimbus, the, the Nimble Destructionist. I do like being able to counter the, the unsuspend trigger uh, for the last counter being removed. Yep, that is fine. Can't really do anything about that. Sure.
Okay, so Massacre Room actually just kills you. <laughs> we get our guy back. And then we attack you for three. And you're at two. Wow, Masker Worm for the win. Pretty strong. And this guy even survives, which is pretty sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Click that bell if you want notifications whenever we go live. You can also check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Links are in the description below. Those are great ways to support the stream. And you can also check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore. Uh, you'll get 15% uh, off free shipping and free returns for your first purchase. And uh, it's a great way to support the stream as well. I get a kickback. You get a discount. It's something you probably need anyway. So please check that out. MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it.